Central Kalimantan, Indonesian, Kalimantan Tenga, is a province of Indonesia. It is one of five provinces in Kalimantan, the Indonesian part of Borneo. Its provincial capital is Palangkaraya and in 2010 its population was over 2.2 million, while the latest official estimate for January 2014 is 2,368,654. The population growth rate was almost 3.0% per annum between 1990 and 2000, one of the highest provincial growth rates in Indonesia during that time. In the subsequent decade to 2010, the average annual growth rate slowed markedly to around 1.8%. More than is the case in other provinces in the region, central Kalimantan is populated by the Dayaks, the indigenous inhabitants of Borneo. History Since the 18th century the central region of Kalimantan and its Dayak inhabitants were ruled by the Muslim Sultanate of Banjar. Following Indonesian independence after World War II, Dayak tribes demanded a province separate from South Kalimantan Province. In 1957 South Kalimantan was divided to provide the Dayak population with greater autonomy from the Muslim population in the province. The change was approved by the Indonesian government on 23 May 1957 under Presidential Law No. 10-Year 1957, which declared Central Kalimantan the 17th province of Indonesia. President Sukarno appointed the Dayak-born national hero Jilak Rewat as the first governor and Palankaraya the provincial capital. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Central Kalimantan is the third largest Indonesian province by area with a size of 153,564.5 square kilometers, about 1.5 times the size of the island of Java. It is bordered by West Kalimantan and East Kalimantan provinces to the north, by the Java Sea to the south, by South Kalimantan and East Kalimantan provinces to the east, and by West Kalimantan province to west. The Schwainer Mountains stretch from the northeast of the province to the southwest, 80% of which is covered in dense forest, peatland swamps, mangroves, rivers, and traditional agriculture land. Highland areas in the northeast are remote and not easily accessible. Non-volcanic mounts are scattered in this area including Kenkabang, Samyajang, Liang Pahang and Ulu Gedang. The center of the province is covered with tropical forest, which produces rattan, resin and valuable timber such as Yulin and Maranti. The southern lowlands are dominated by peatland swamps that intersect with many rivers. Sabangau National Park is a protected peatland area internationally acknowledged as sanctuary for the endangered orangutan. Recently the peat swamp forests have been damaged by the Mega Rice Project, which unsuccessfully sought to turn large areas into rice paddies. The province's climate is wet weather equatorial zone with an eight-month rainy season, and four months of dry season. Rainfall or precipitation is 2,776 to 3,393 mm per year with an average of 145 rainy days annually. Rivers <inaudible> 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 Central Kalimantan has numerous rivers from the catchment areas to the north in the Schwainer Mountains, flowing to the Java Sea. The major rivers include Burrito River 900 kilometers Kapis River 600 kilometers Kahayan River 600 kilometers Katingan River 600 kilometers Mentaya Sampit River 400 kilometers Suryan River 350 kilometers Lamandau River 300 kilometers Arit River 250 kilometers Sabangau River 200 kilometers Kumai River 179 kilometers Jelai River 100 kilometers Rivers are an important mode of transportation and a primary location for settlement With relatively undeveloped infrastructure the province's economy relies heavily on the rivers Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Administrative Divisions Topic <inaudible> Central Kalimantan is administratively divided into 13 regencies Kabupaten, each headed by a regent, and one city Kodameda, the latter being Palanka Raya the provincial capital. These are as follows 
In addition to the civil service, Central Kalimantan also recognizes a traditional governing system led by traditional leaders known as Demang. The province is divided into 67 traditional law areas known as Katamangan, headed by Demang. The system is intended to culturally recognize and preserve the customs and heritage of the Dayak tribes. Railroads Russia will build railroads from central Kalimantan to east Kalimantan for coal transportation with estimated cost of $2.4 billion. Demographics. Topic Topic Religion Topic The population of central Kalimantan is seventy four point three one per cent Muslim, eighteen point six per cent Christian, fifteen point nine seven per cent Protestant, and two point six three per cent Catholic, zero point five zero per cent Hindu, zero point one one per cent Buddhist, and six point two six per cent other. Topic: Ethnic groups. Topic: The three major Dayak tribes in central Kalimantan are the Nahu, Ot Danum, and Dusan Manyan Ot Siang. The three major tribes extended into several branches of prominent Dayak tribes in central Kalimantan, such as Lawangan, Taboyan, Dusan Siang, Boyan, Banshan, Dooi, and Kadori. In addition to the indigenous Dayak tribes, there are also ethnic groups from other areas of Indonesia, including Javanese, Madaris, Batak, Toraja, Ambanese, Bugis, Palembang, Minang, Banjarese, Makassar, Papuan, Balinese, Assanese and also Chinese. See also Deforestation in Borneo Fauna of Borneo Heart of Borneo Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Official Website in Indonesian Official statistics for the province, provided by the Indonesian Central Bureau of Statistics, may be accessed Indonesian language at Baden Pusat Statistik Propinsi Kalimantan Tengah